Jesus said, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. John 13, 34, and 35. This is my 1999 Chevy Astro van. Um, currently, it is not starting. It uh, cranks and cranks and cranks, but uh, never fires. And also, I do not hear, when I turn the ignition switch off, I do not hear the uh, fuel pump running. So uh, first thing I'm going to do before I crawl under there and look at the fuel tank is I'm going to pull off this doghouse and put a pressure gauge on the fuel rail to see if I indeed have no pressure. All right, so the doghouse has been removed and now I have uh, put a fuel pressure gauge on and the line that you see here behind this hose there is a valve on this line right here, this silver line, that's um, the fuel line, and here's the return line for the fuel. And so um, when you turn the vehicle on, you get a burst of pump run for like two seconds, I think. And so as soon as you turn the switch on, you should see this thing jump up. And as you can see, that needle does not move. So, um, so anyway, the next uh, question is, okay, is the fuel pump getting a signal to run if it... Uh, is not then obviously it won't run uh, and then the other possibility is the fuel pump is getting a signal to run and it's not able to run because the pump is bad so um, so we will set up the next step to determine if it's getting a signal or not okay so now if I remove this cover here, and I already had it loose, and then I do my little trick here, and I turn that pump on, ah. so I hear something clicking, and it's coming from this relay right here, okay, and now if I pull this out, And I do this again, there is no click. If I put this back in again, give it in the right slot. Do it one more time. And there it's back. So it is definitely activating that relay when I turn the fuel pump on. So if we look and match it up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the the spot right there says fuel pump relay, so that's what it is. So I think there's a pretty good chance that everything from the computer to the relay is working as it's supposed to. And so the problem is from this relay back to the fuel uh, tank itself. So uh, next question is, uh, can you do this without a scan tool? Okay, so I've hooked up a test light. I just put the one end on the on one of these bolts here on the ground. And so I pulled this relay out a little bit. And I am just going to stick the end of this light on the... So it'll be in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, if you pull this out, you'll see there's multiple. There's five... Um, five things on here and so you want the lower right hand corner over here and just don't put that all the way in and get your test light right on that duty okay so now we're going to try this without the scan tool completely and uh, 
I have my assistant in there. Turn the switch on just to. Turn on. Oh, we'll turn off. And so there you can see that either when you turn the switch on or turn it off, the light will come on, indicating that this relay is good. So you don't need the scan tool at all. You can just do it this way. Okay, so the fuel tank is on this side of the vehicle. You have your, your fill port there. And uh, unfortunately, this is the ugly part. You gotta go underneath the vehicle in there and there's not quite enough room. So you have to jack up the vehicle to get to the fuel tank. Okay, so this is the fuel tank. And this metal strap here holds it up. And there's one more metal strap right here that holds it up. And those are held right here by this bolt. There's a bolt head right here, and then there's a nut up there, you know, in order to get this strap off, you have to bring that down. And, uh, but before I mess with that, and those are, I, I've had this down before, and those are very difficult <laughs> to get out. They're very long bolts, and it takes a lot of turns, and if they're rusted in there, then it, uh, it's a really tedious task. Um, but before I do that, I want to check the the wire um, so you can see that this wiring harness kind of comes down and then it it disappears up under up under this shroud here. This is a plastic shroud. It goes up over the top of the tank, and um, so this is just like a little extension harness. It comes up here to an electrical connector. Kind of looks like a a cylinder. And then there's a little connector tab that locks it in place. And so I'm going to need to get that apart so that I can test the the feed. Uh, from the from the front to see make sure that the signal is at least getting this far back and if it's getting this far back that's as far as I can take it I'm gonna have to drop the tank down so I can get to the sending sending unit All right. so if you look at this there's a there's a kind of a reddish plastic thing that comes down from the top and then it goes down through the center of this piece here and so that I think is a is a connector positive assurance deal or a CPA that uh, makes sure that that connector won't come off by accident so that red piece will have to slide out this way in order to uh, allow the connector clasp to uh, to release. Okay, so I took a pair of pliers, placed it on that cord there, like that, and I just pulled it this way, and it came out. Okay, and so it did work. I pressed on this piece right there. Actually, I used a pair of pliers to push on it, and then that allowed this to come out. Now I should be able to test this to find out if that signal is coming back from the engine compartment. Wait, I guess this piece up here would be the would be the part coming from the engine compartment, as this one goes up on top of the tank, or this one here goes up on top of the tank so okay so the connector here I have this yellow lead 
connected to the center pin. So there's seven pins in that housing, and the one that's directly in the center is the ground. And the one that is feeding the pump is the one closest to the body rail here. So it would be the one closest to the middle of the car, closest to this rail right here. And that is the pump feed. So when I have somebody turn this on for me, I should have light come on uh, as soon as the key is turned on. All right, go ahead. There it's on. And now turn it off. So I'm getting power back to this point, so the only thing left to do is to drop the tank.